Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Erotic Book Club. I am your host, Jess Ross. With me, as always, is my co-host. Hello, I'm Rekha Shankar. Uh, thank you so much. Not sure how you're watching us or listening to us. If you're on our Dropout, if you're on CH2, if you're on iTunes, all of them are great ways. Our favorite way, of course, is through Dropout because you get to listen to it first. And you get to check out all of our other content, uh, shows like D20, What the Fuck 101, other podcasts, The College Humor podcast tales from the closet and of course erotic book club uh and our favorite part is our our favorite part is becoming being on our discord we have so much fun on there it's our channel where you can talk to us directly uh after you watch the episode or in between episodes we have some fun uh comments from fans we got Doc Mayhem, who really made my week, he said, I keep Dropout just for Erotic Book Club. Awesome oh show. God. Thank you so and much. And I truly thought that that was so sweet and special. Maybe it's a lie, but hey, sometimes <laughs> a lie's nice. Uh, sometimes <laughs> a little nice lie mm. made somebody's day. And exactly. you made my day, Doc Mayhem. A uh, random geek named Brent said, there, being uh, Rake and I, are cool with talking about animal dicks and monster fucking. They gotta get some furry erotica up in this bitch. Mm. <laughs> uh, you know, we do uh, the best that we can trying to find uh, a vast array of different mm -hmm. content that we think people may enjoy. So we're gonna look out for some furry dicks for you, Brent. Just um, for you. Just um, for you. A it, little gift. It's a gift, yeah. Uh, we also have some beautiful Nessie fan art in there. We have some depictions of the uh, the big beast himself. The big beast himself. <laughs> at, throbbing abs and all. Um, throbbing yeah. abs and two cocks. Uh, mm. Just the way I like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as well as a gorgeous one. Uh, I wish I could have shared it. We didn't get the, the rights quick enough are assigned things quick enough, but there's a gorgeous one of Ferguson, the captain from White yes. for Nessie, uh, rowing or uh, steering a, the boat. Yeah, like a captain's wheel. With his little, with not even little, with his Giant. big penis out. Yeah. Uh, and I had a thought for it. I don't want to like, you know, like feedback is just feedback, you know? I think this piece of art is beautiful. One thought I had, what if the dick was the spoke of the captain's wheel? I love that. I think it could be a nice way to marry the two things sort of already naturally going on in that picture. If you got this custom commissioned for your if house, I was, that would be a lovely if addition. I, if this was like an Etsy situation and I was getting something custom made and I was like, <laughs> okay. And I, if that was like the draft sent back, I'd be like, wow, this is really stunning. I hope this isn't too much work, but can you connect the wheel to his hard cock? Yeah. I don't know a ton about Photoshop, but I feel like that wouldn't be too hard of a change. Yeah, if it is, egg on my face. Egg on my <clears throat> Penis. Ah. <laughs> um, the book for this week, as we mentioned last week, is shared by Lumberjacks by Eddie Cleveland. Yes. And who better to talk about this book than our two expert guests? We're yes. so lucky. With us, um, our leading character in the book is uh, a red-headed woman from the city who wears glasses and it's a bit of a conflict on and off and so we <laughs> knew that we had to get our red-headed glasses wearing expert Annie hello I'm glad to be here thank you so much and for provide being here my expertise yes your perspective is very much needed so <laughs> yes. this will be oh, good. crucial I'm glad. I'm glad I could could share that <laughs> we um also have another expert here yes um so this book takes place in a cabin in the woods in like a wintry setting a lumberjack's natural environment yes that's where they're born and raised and <laughs> so to speak on trees and nature and what what those are like we have our own jessica clemens from olympia washington hi um nice to be here Big tree enthusiast. Jess, what, what's your favorite tree? I mean, uh, don't know a lot. If I had to choose, I would say a Douglas fir, maybe Damn. a cedar. Oh, wow! A cedar. This two. is incredible. You got two for two. What I'm does like, a Douglas fir look like? Um, so <laughs> it's, I don't want to get it. I don't want to like criticize it because it's Black History Month, and Ooh, they what named is it. <laughs> they named it after. Um, Frederick Douglass? Yeah, Frederick Douglass. And it's not that big of a tree. It's oh. kind of like really shrubby, but these were the ones that were in Washington. I don't know if they were supposed to be uh, there. It's like a little Isn't bush. Is it a Christmas tree? No, that's the evergreen tree. Isn't that a pine uh, tree? The, I, I don't see, know. you guys are questioning my expertise now. I know, I should and I don't saying, mean to do that. Yeah, I'm just saying, I apologize. I'm from a place that has a lot of them. <laughs> and that's okay. why you're here. 
And you also wear glasses. Yeah, and I'm also a lumberjack. Yeah. That was a cool fact. I'm glad that I learned it today. (laughs) Me too. Share it by Lumberjacks. Uh, The characters, in case you haven't read it, we want to help you uh, along listening. We have our lead, Mary, uh, a redheaded glasses-wearing woman. She writes books in the city. She writes books. They're romance novels with no sex. They're a bit more like a Hallmark movie, if you will. It's usually Christmas in them, and it's very uh, a city woman goes out to the country and uh, finds love there. Your typical Hallmark story. Like an Alyssa Milano kind of kind of vehicle. You know? Really? Is that who you'd pick first? I think I've seen her in Hallmark movies. I hmm. saw her in one where she had like two boyfriends, which is like a little similar to this. Ooh. Oh, who's the inspiration? Maybe. We ha- oh, she was the inspiration for Ariel. Alyssa Milano? Another I believe redhead. so. Another Wait. redhead. <laughs> it's all happening. Wait, isn't Little Mermaid, doesn't that precede her? No, when she was a child actress. She was on They took the her face and drew her up. And that's who Ariel is. We have so many facts today. Also, I don't mean to do this, but I'm gonna bring it back. I was completely wrong about the Douglas fir. I got it mixed up with a different tree. (laughs) 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 The Douglas fir is actually a very large tree, but it does not have a lot of branches. So I'm gonna (laughs) hold on to half my statement. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) I love an expert who keeps it real. Yeah. Yeah. And keep checking in with the Douglas fir kind of throughout the pod too. Yeah, if anything changes throughout the day. Dude, I I will. Breaking news. (laughs) The Douglas fir is actually (laughs) something else. (laughs) Douglas Fir, I was wrong. It's important to admit when you're wrong. wrong. You know what? It was a fake tree. Props to you, Jess. Amazing. Um, We have Mary's agent, Nancy, uh, who is the one who kind of uh, has her go out to uh, meet our lumberjacks. And then, of course, we have our lumberjacks, Hardy and Owen. Mm. Uh, Now, I have cast this as Tom Hardy and Owen Wilson. Okay. Um, Anyone else have anyone else in mind? I kind of imagined both of them to look like Paul Bunyan. Mm. Like huge, huge, burly men with axes. Aren't they like eight foot? Yeah. Whoa! (laughs) That's Um, crazy. Paul Bunyan, I think, also had red hair. Mm -hmm. So that... um, Would you make love with an eight foot man? Um, I mean, I don't you know, you the, the situation has never presented itself. Absolutely. But maybe, yeah, I could then tell <laughs> I mean, everybody I mm-hmm. had sex with this dude who's eight feet tall. Have you ever done that? Probably I just not. watched the Andre the Giant documentary, and they <laughs> were talking about what a ladies' man he was. And I was like, mm. I just don't know if I could. Mm. And I'm a bigger woman, but I think he would tear me apart. I do wonder Messy a bit style. about, like, the... <laughs> How do you situate yourselves? Yes. When I'm 5'3". So I'm 5'3 as well. So if somebody's that much taller where do your i don't know where do you you would have to be on top he you no yeah. you would die I like, I he would, would die. crush you the <laughs> plus <laughs> side is like you're small enough to be like put places like on the wall or on the shoulder <laughs> the wall oh, like, oh, like a picture yeah, like, like a framed up. picture <laughs> he would hang you up <laughs> by your coat <laughs> like <laughs> like a like two stooge kids <laughs> in like a teen <laughs> show <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Oh my god. So two eight foot tall lumberjacks uh, live out by this cabin. Yeah, two Owen Wilsons live by a cabin. (laughs) (laughs) Our story begins, it's Christmas, uh, and she's listening to some holiday hits. Uh, There's a beautiful description of the the mountain view that she's driving down. Um, And then we get a bit of a flashback as to what led her to going out to the cabin. She's with her agent, Nancy. Uh, She's sitting in a chair wearing her robin egg blue thick rim glasses, kind of hiding behind them as one does. Uh, And she's suffering from writer's block. She's a New York Times bestseller. um, But she just can't get this next book written. Yeah. Yeah, we've all been there. We've all been there. Mm-hmm. Which they're all about fucking Christmas and two <laughs> men. I don't or not two men. They're all about Christmas and a guy. I don't yeah. know. You think what kind of writer's dish? block? Maybe you've just written all there is to say. I just keep thinking that maybe this is what the author thinks that women like. It's just yes, like totally. And Love. <laughs> and don't get me yeah, wrong, no, I do. There I wasn't know. enough Christmas in the book. No, there wasn't. There was no, no. presents. There was no tree. Yeah. There was no wreath. There was no, no rain. Crazy to have a lumberjack book that doesn't actually have trees. Oh, the, 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 the parts the that the did have trees yeah. were very sexy, and I can't wait to get to yeah. that. Um, so <laughs> the agent has her go out to the woods uh, to kind of have like uh, a bit of an inspiration. Do trees offer inspiration? Maybe for Mary. Yeah. Maybe from oh yeah, yeah or yeah. for redheads in particular, yeah, right. perhaps. <laughs> um, wait, I want to backtrack on one thing, which is Nancy has one of my favorite quotes of the book. 
Nancy, her agent, which is a good man is hard to find and a hard man is good to find. Mm. I think that's a nice, like, sort of yeah. Christmas saying. Mm. <laughs> like you Maybe you'll find card. a hard man under the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Oh you open up a Christmas card. <laughs> You know, the front of it. And then goes, put it up on the, the mantle. Yeah, the front says, a good man is hard to find. You open it, and, and it's like a, a pop-up. It's a nativity scene that says, oh. a hard man is good to find. That is such a great line. And it's from, like, the your dad's co-worker. <laughs> I want that stitched on a pillow in, in my living room on my couch. That's so cute. I would totally hang with Nancy. Yeah. Nancy's one of the coolest people yeah. like, to me. And I'm yeah. so sad that she's only in like the beginning, really. Yeah. 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 She's and so she takes, badass. takes no BS. And yeah. yeah. You if know. she was at that cabin, she'd be like, what the fuck? But also she cares for her friend. Her friends hitting uh, are really not even friend. Like this is like a working client, relationship. Yeah. Her mm-hmm. client, she takes the time to go, hey, I understand you're stressed. You're not hitting the deadlines. It's no big deal. Mm-hmm. Go out to the woods. I I'll got rent you, you a cabin. Airbnb. <laughs> I'll rent you a cabin. I will rent you a cabin. I would love for somebody to rent me a cabin. I've never been in a cabin. What? Are you right? serious? Oh, Gotta hit some writer's oh, block. I want to take you to a cabin. What if this happens to us? What if this does happen to us? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Reka, we are going I think to I cabin. I think I would lose my fucking mind if this happened to us. Cabins are so much fun. Cabins are so amazing. Ugh, I would love god. to. I spent too much time in cabins. I love cabins. Expert. Love cabins. Um, so she she drives up and she sees the cabin. She thinks in her mind it's going to be one thing. What do you think, maybe? Let's hear from someone who hasn't been to a cabin. What do you <laughs> I was like so confused. I was like, a cow what? <laughs> I was so confused. Um... <laughs> Um, I think I thought it would be like, because she was also hyping up all the cabins she has been to that are very nice and very cozy. So I was kind of expecting that. Well, I'm talking about Airbnbs that give her wine and fruit baskets. Yeah, I was like, I was where like, the what fuck are, are you, you talking going? about? I literally stayed at an Airbnb where the person also stayed there in their room. <laughs> and there was a cat that threw up. <laughs> all I get is like a pan full of bacon fat. Yeah. Like I don't get a bottle of wine when yeah. I go to an Airbnb. Yeah, and no. she's in a nice bottle of wine. So yeah, she's used to we the luxury. One not problems. in a box. How can she tell when it's nice? I, the picture <laughs> on the front, you idiot. <laughs> if the picture is like a painting kind of thing, it's nice. If it's like a cartoon fish, it's bad. <laughs> oh my god! So she gets there, and it's not quite what she thinks. It's a little uh, crappier. Yeah, it's she one that maybe it, I'd stay. I at. think as a shack. Yeah. yeah. Um. So I imagined it to be kind of like. Just like a, a small like room yeah. with this like stone staircase going up to a bedroom, but yeah. like a hot plate, not yeah. even like a stove. Yeah, really. I think so. I mean, they do make pancakes later, which I'm like, okay, wow. That's and like she does ambitious. cook dinner. Makes, yeah. I think it's a nice cabin. I think she's just used to like she's luxury. just bougie as shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she wears blue rimmed glasses. That is yeah. true. Right. Yeah, she, mm-hmm. she does seem they were, like, pretty bougie. Or anything. She's yeah. very bougie. Uh, so she has to kind of force her way in. It's a little difficult. She's not seeing the owner. She is seeing down the hill there's like another cabin and a truck. Mm-hmm. And she's hearing eventually as she starts to yeah. write a lot of buzzing noises. Yes. And, and, and things that are disturbing her process. And how could she possibly focus yeah. with any outside noise? She's there's never any of that in New York. New York City. She's coming from New York City. She's not used to this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love the introduction of the men. I love that she sits down and we hear this like, vroom, yeah. vroom, and Which she says I, it sounds yes. like ten million mosquitoes yeah. on steroids. Mm-hmm. The metaphor. I know exactly what that sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all juicing into. Fucking. <laughs> and then um, she keeps hearing it, and then she goes and sees that there's two men down there, and she describes uh, watching them the manly way they make nature bend to their will. I thought that's that nice. was hot as that's fuck. That's very nice. You rolled your eyes. That's hot as fuck. I'm like, nice. oh my god, okay, we get it. It's I like an so airbender. It. That was like the first sort I'm... of sexy <laughs> like phrasing we heard, and I was I... like, okay. Yeah, like Avatar Keep Last Airbender. <laughs> someone hot. Like... You know, something hot like that series. <laughs> Don't you think someone bending nature to yes. their will is sexy? Yes. Yeah, totally. Paul Bunyan did that. <laughs> he created the Grand Canyon. <laughs> oh my God, Grandmother Willow, so. <laughs> um, so she's kind of checking them out down there, but she's also a little irritated by them, and she keeps pushing up her glasses because mm. she's uptight and she doesn't like these forest men. And her glasses don't fit. And she yes. has promised fit. this quiet getaway. Yeah, that and is so true. she feels like she didn't get yes. what she mm-hmm. signed up for. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. So she takes things into her own hands Ooh, a little bit. Baby. And this is one of those books that switches perspectives. As which I always love. love. Yes. Which I, I like. Um, and we kind of jump into Hardy's perspective. Yes. And we get this sensual description. Uh, I wrote down the sound of the saw. Sawdust floating like snowflakes. Hard work equals good pay. We're carefully not destroying the world. I, mm-hmm. I like, I mean, I was so on board for this. Yes. I dug this They a seemed lot. like very kind of eco-friendly Which lumberjacks. Is, yeah, so cool. And I was like, damn, we're about to get into it. And <laughs> one of my other favorite parts of this oh, book goodness. is when Owen and Hardy are just casually talking about their lumberjacking business, which has been passed on <laughs> yes. from somebody's yes. great-grandfather, because I don't think they're related. Yeah, they're not. And no, we never know their relationship. We don't know if they're related. We don't know. They're just Co-workers and roommates? I guess so. I think they're cousins. Oh, okay. It's just a thought I have. Yeah. Uh, just uh, a so it doesn't thing. make me like it more. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, <laughs> it, they okay, said Jan. their grandfather. Uh, did it and say I, their? Okay. I, I don't I don't. I remember. thought it was just like both their grandpas work together and they buy, like just had to be friends because they're like, oh, it's the lumberjack. There's not many other people up yeah. there. <laughs> In the yeah. forest cutting yeah. trees. Other. Well, basically, uh, <laughs> she comes down to, to well, okay, my, one of my favorite parts of the book is they're talking about lumberjacking and <laughs> Owen, uh, <laughs> they're talking yes, about how yes. they like need to keep the business going. Yes. Yes. And it goes, haven't you ever heard of passive ink? Oh, yes. sorry. Why they need to keep the cabin going. Like why they can't, why like, they're renting out to someone who's annoying, and like, why don't they stop doing that? Have you ever heard of passive income, man? Yes. It's called diversifying. Yes. I think that is incredible. I thought that was, was, that was This no, business savvy Owen. I am all for yeah, Owen. He Wilson said he wanted to have a vacation rental empire. Yes. He this was, is their only um, property as of now, but you got to start somewhere. And yes. their first client. And yeah. honestly, yes. and it's already kind of failing. It's yeah. incredibly yeah. hot. And she's been there ten minutes. <laughs> He's a <laughs> terrible. Plan? Get all, out of here. <laughs> all of it. I was so into that. <laughs> so she calls them out. Uh, they start getting into a bit of a confrontation. She's saying, you guys got to keep it down. Uh, Hardy in particular. Owen's kind of the one trying to keep the peace most of the mm-hmm. time. But Hardy's the one who's like, you're just an uptight city woman. Yeah, Hardy sucks. And the book gets a little meta, too. It kind of starts to talk about what happens in typical romance novels, mm-hmm. uh, which I found somewhat interesting. I was like, oh, is this going to be like the whole book? Like, it's a bit of a meta. Yeah. take and we're gonna like uh, subvert the things that usually happen it doesn't <laughs> uh, but you know sometimes you just read it and you gotta think some things in your head um, and this is the first time we kind of get a little taste of sex because <laughs> Hardy Rika, how dare you sorry Hardy it goes, uh, describes uh, seeing her I wrote chest I'm fairly sure he says tits uh, and but he probably says ass, Yeah. Uh, through her coat, which, which immediately, here's the thing, as a woman, she is either wearing a pea coat, which is not warm, in <laughs> the dead of winter in upstate New York, which is crazy, or he's full of shit, because she's yeah. wearing like a Gore-Tex fucking giant yeah, marshmallow. Like down yeah, down coat. I was like, you can't see anything through an actual winter coat for most people. I mean, I think he was, well, I thought he was talking about more that you could see it from the side. You but know that when you're like the booty, the booty so big? So big I guess the booty is so big. If the booty is really that big, like, I guess so. He does describe it as her big, beautiful ass. Sways back and forth as she marches back up the hill. Like a and duck. Doesn't <laughs> crack, she crack, fall crack, crack, crack. on a patch of snow she and does. screams? And he, the first <laughs> word he uses to describe her is shrill. He says shrill. Yeah, and I was like, mm, Very annoying. Great, yeah. Hardy. He's it's like, a bit of a bummer what it's That's why Tom Hardy is playing him. Hardy You think Tom Hardy's a jerk? No, his his Wait, name is Hardy. Is, Tom no, Hardy, Hardy probably is it. Hardy certainly is. Yes, no, <laughs> yes. No. But that's, I think Hardy, Tom Hardy, would say this in the role. Like he would think. be really good at playing this part. Of course he would. And I'm gonna Jessica. imagine. Oh my god. Of course he would. I'm be. sorry. Jesus. I gotta start a Tom Hardy podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I really love that man. Um, Hardy working. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, here's where we we get to the good stuff. We get to Owen's chapter, and I love Owen. I I will yeah. be with Owen. And, He's and, sweet, and fine. I like him. And one thing that we hear in this chapter that I highlight, I wrote. 
Read it aloud. She has brown eyes. Yes, bitch. <laughs> that, that is the closest, second closest or closest we've come to having a person of color as a protagonist, which is so fucking sad. She is certainly white, but uh, at least she has brown eyes and not mystical blue eyes like every fucking protagonist in every fucking thing on earth. She has mystical blue glasses, though. She does. So I And they do. Sorry, Reka. Yeah. Get out of here with your dumb blue eyes, Jessica. <laughs> Devil. That defy <laughs> the laws of nature. They are recessive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so Mary goes back up to her cabin upset. Owen doesn't want to lose diversifying his portfolio. Who oh, among absolutely. us would? So he goes up to, to make sure he doesn't get a one star review. Uh, he describes <laughs> her as she's kind of fallen on the floor upset by yeah. this oh, encounter. Yeah, she's crying so in a ball. Oh, oh my God. I thought she that was broke a little her stream. <laughs> yeah, broke I the get handle it. on her suitcase. I get it. Oh, it's upsetting. She, she described that she writes romantic novels to him, and uh, Hardy basically kind of ridicules her for it. Like, oh, those dumb uh, kind of. What kind do you write? Like Hallmark or Fifty Shades? He shits on Fifty and Shades. And he didn't seem to like either. Yeah. No. He wants, like, Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> if, if he reads what like, she does it because she's a man. I think there's a part in it where he's just like, women want to be fucked. That's all they want. And I was like, okay, he says Hardy, it a calm lot. Down. Yeah, he's, he's very. I don't think he's met a lot of women. Hugely yeah. philosophical about a group of people he doesn't know. And he about. says that she doesn't know how to write real yeah. men because because her, her men are like considerate. Yes, considerate <laughs> yes, nice. and thoughtful and like want romance. And he's like, that's not a real man. A real man will you know bend you to he your will to like I do with like nature. Like <laughs> um, so, like I do with nature. Yeah, so I sort. I don't know. He wants we'll to cut a woman you like down. We'll tear you down like a like I do. I was curious because he kind of implies that no man, even one who are your friends and are being nice, really feel that way and they just yeah. want to fuck you. Which is so boring and stupid. Yeah. Do you think it's true? Deep down that inside. That all men want to fuck me? Wait, are we talking about <laughs> well, that? Is true. Yeah, that's in particular. Uh, like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just <laughs> wonder. What? I wish I had the power that Taraji has and what men want, and I mm, wish I just knew Taraji. for a day if that Taraji. is truly what everyone mm. thought. Yeah. And if I kind of liked it. Well, <laughs> part of. I think part of the meta thing that's interesting is like Hardy is saying all of that stuff. Yeah. Now we're in Owen's chapter. She's crying. Owen says. She goes, she goes, it's stupid, I'm crying. And he goes, it's not stupid if you're crying. Oh, Which oh. is one of those male characters that Hardy is saying is not real. Yeah. That is now being also written into... So he is video. real. Yeah. I, and I, oh my God, Owen. You had me at crying. <laughs> you had me oh, at hello. Owen. You had me at diversifying nope, yeah. passive income. <laughs> yep, a man that's about money. And he fixes her suitcase, which uh, is, you know, so, just so thoughtful. So yeah. It seemed really simple in the book. <laughs> oh my God. It it he like, popped it, it back in. It's like when like, the lid pops off of yeah. like your remote or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. just like, okay. When yeah. she describes getting into the cabin too, she like hits it with her elbow and then she's like, I had such a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. I'm like, you are a best-selling author. <laughs> but I lived in a box. <laughs> um, he describes as he's seeing her, uh, which I, I liked this part. Uh, I imagine easing my cock between her full lips, watching it disappear into her mouth, inch by inch. So he's fantasizing this. Nothing mm -hmm. sexual yeah. between them has happened yet, besides kind of the chemistry flying. But I just like hearing a man's perspective yeah. as mm -hmm. to maybe what a blowjob would be like. Yeah. I... I mean, yeah, we know how I, f I feel about Owen. I love it. <laughs> we know how I feel. I so they have a bit of a moment. Uh, talk about her curve. She's a curvy woman. Which mm. I hope, you know, you leave that to your imagination. If that means actually curvy or if she's like a size two. With a little boob and butt. Yeah. With a little boob and butt. Um, he might go home and jerk off to the experience afterwards. That's how oh, the yeah. chapter ends. I thought that was a great ending to the chapter. I he love that. that. Yeah. <laughs> what a nice. A little cliffhanger. Yeah. Will he, won't he? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ooh. Then, here's an action chapter. Uh, yes, yes, we do have a little bit of action. This book has some romance, some sex, some action. Before we even get to the sexual action, yes. we get into an adventure scene. Oh, this is really exciting. Yeah, <laughs> she's feeling inspired. She's imagining herself on a La La Land esque date with Owen. They say La La Land, which literally, is so yes. to read in a book. I thought so too. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, yeah, we've lived long enough to see La La Land in a book. In an erotic novel. <laughs> exactly. We never live long enough. Oh, I guess, yeah, that book must not be too old then. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, written in the last like year or two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to write, sh- she's inspired and she's writing a book about lumberjacks. So we're even in like a bit of a, uh, you know, going deeper into the meta hole here. Yeah, she starts writing her hero. Yes. Which yeah. is mm-hmm. based off a lumberjack or is a lumberjack, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. she's stunted when it comes to writing the female lead. So she's that's why she lost. goes on this walk yes. in the woods. Oh my gosh, this is this part. <laughs> uh, she's too scary. It was hardy and she's a bit cranky at him again and he's kind of yelling at her from a distance and she's like this asshole she thinks he says he yells up at her that he wants to strip her bare yes and yes. he's like he couldn't possibly have said that and she a man i only met once away yeah. yes um, who i'm renting a cabin from couldn't possibly have screamed that at me from a distance but like she was thinking it like about it was it. a warning and like i don't know there was a giant <laughs> animal coming at me <laughs> Go, go, go. <laughs> keep saying, oh, no, keep yeah. going. I want to hear what happens next. <laughs> I well, remember what happens He next. doesn't want to strip her bear. There is, is a bear. bear. Ooh, there is a bear behind. a brown, like, flash walk by her. Woman of color. And then it's yep. a bear. <laughs> um, a giant okay. bear. Okay, good. Got it. Um, and she screams because she's so startled by this bear. And the bear... I don't know. Stands up on its legs. I don't... Yes. Growls at her. I don't want to be that person. But I know bears. <gasps> You know, <gasps> double expert. Whoa! <laughs> Nature, bears, same difference. Yeah. So you don't scream at a bear and just stand there. In the yeah. book, that's what she did. Yeah. And then when Hardy came to the rescue because he's Hardy, he yeah. has to. Yeah. Who's, yeah. Who else would it be? Owen's gone, and he Owen's just starts soft. fighting. He too stares soft. down the bear and starts screaming at it. He scares like, away the bear. I thought I was he like, did yeah, make loud right. noises. I thought you go. go you away! Said, I thought he was supposed to curl up in a ball. I thought he was supposed to make no. it look big. I, don't I know think what you're I thought noises, cougars were supposed to allow. I thought cougars were supposed to be big. Cougars? Who has warnings about cougars? Like, oh, maybe it's in Washington. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I it think, is. I thought mountain lions were supposed to be like loud and big, and bears you're supposed because bears will still come at you, especially if there's like a cub. Wait, this is dangerous. We have two opposing views on how to deal with the bear. <laughs> you either get really, really small, or you get really, really big. I think you make a lot of noise. I don't I think you curl up into a ball. He's going to come and eat you like a tomato. But it, they don't eat <laughs> like dead a things. Tomato. That's why you're supposed to be up dead. Into a ball. Yeah, I, I I've heard that. De- yeah, oh, I can't eat this. It's dead. Yeah, bears are like that. No. They're weird. They like That's to kill. Did you see The <laughs> Revenant? <laughs> oh, my God. Do not start with He that. goes to Do town on that man who's, and he's crawling around. He might as well be but dead. But he's a lot. Okay. Either way. When I see a bear, I think it's a house. And so I, like in The Revenant. Crawl. <laughs> crawl away from it. <laughs> Diversifying um, my passive income. Use this bear as a house. This um, part was scary. Uh, I was yeah. chased by a moose once, insane. so anything with That's wild animals scary. really uh, gets me. Yeah. Um, so he saves her. Yeah. What are you laughing about? Uh, yeah. The next chapter. Uh, so he, she's saved. He, she's very thankful, and yes. she says, to thank you, I'm going to cook you dinner. Uh, and so, at first they decline. They're like, we have food. We don't need your which, dinner. By we, oh, we mean Hardy. Can I yeah. say, Owen would have said yes. Okay, one time Katie Raff and I were hanging out, and uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, we were like near my apartment, and we got ice cream. And I was like, oh, do you guys want to wa- like come back and like we can watch TV, like watch something or whatever? And Katie was like, yeah. And then Raph goes, no, I have a TV. <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> and I was like, that's rude, Raph. Yeah, I'm not inviting you over for a novel experience. <laughs> I was like, if you want to keep hanging out, my apartment is here. Yeah, but is your TV a color television? <laughs> or yes. is it black and white? It's color. Like, it was just so stupid. So you should make fun of Raph for that. Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, so they uh, go to her house. She cooks them a lovely meal. She's telling them a story about a time when she went to a party mm-hmm. dressed as a sexy maid. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, a Halloween the party at a professor's party. house. Yes. by the way, it's a, a <laughs> wild, wild party. party. So she dresses up for the wild party as a sexy maid. She goes, and everyone else is dressed more in. Um, Someone's dressed like Dorian Gray. <laughs> yes, yes. And we come to find it was an Oscar Wilde. Party. Party. Wild with an E. And Wild she an left, e. and that was the last of her sexual uh, experiences. The last of her sexual experiences, to be clear, is her make it, her wearing a maid outfit to a party. <laughs> yeah, and not she, even going to the party. Yeah, yeah she never she got that away. racy again. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, at this dinner, 
as she's telling this story and they're all laughing and having a good time, she talks about how she makes very good pie. And the pie mm. is, in fact, very juicy. A juicy and pie sweet. would be bad. Ooh, and yeah, sweet, soggy sweet bottom. Pie. It'd be a soggy bottom. Ooh. Yeah, I would never use the word juicy to describe pie. Maybe the inside. <laughs> Maybe inside. that's what she means. Not too juicy. It's just, it's, it's more... Um, <laughs> Wet? I don't know. I, juicy to me. <laughs> Either you way, bite into yeah. What? Well, well, juicy to me means when you bite into it, it like bursts. Spurts. <laughs> Maybe that's the pie she's making. Maybe it's like a sloppy a whole pie. Peach. You've never whole had peaches. Mary's pie, okay? Yeah. I made my famous this is sloppy Mary pie. Berry. You want a sloppy pie? Mm. <laughs> oh no! Don't bring Mary Berry into All right, this. I love her. Oh, she doesn't God. need to be here. <laughs> Um, it fits so, the description. She doesn't ew. Glasses, so, so Hardy, of course, hearing this story gives her a bit of a hard time. Why don't you let your freak flag fly? Why do you hide behind those glasses? Uh, and I, I keep bringing up the glasses because I just, I resent the whole glasses storyline. As someone who wears glasses, sometimes people just need glasses to see. <laughs> but, and they get, okay. they get, they comment on like, why, why do you need to wear glasses? Like, the, right? I they had a you like, YouTube yeah. comment one and, and, and it said, what does she think she's doing wearing those glasses? And I went, I'm seeing you How? stupid bitch. Boom. Are you out of your she fucking look. mind? Do you think, pe like, and even if someone is wearing Fake glasses as an accessory. Who the fuck cares? It's like yeah. you're wearing a baseball hat. Who catch cares? this, catch this. Here's your fucking argument. I'm about to go to town right now. You know <laughs> why maybe women wear fake glasses to seem less sexual at their jobs? Why would a woman need to play down her sexuality at her job? Pop huh? quiz. Why pop would quiz. that happen? Go fuck yourself. Oh my god. Everybody, Ooh. from this podcast, if you get anything, it's go fuck yourself. Oh, <laughs> it hits me in a way I'm like, how dare you? I can't even see how much of me has to be policed right now I that I can't even fucking see with my eyes. <laughs> These sons of bitches. Fuck you, Hardy. <laughs> Jeff, yes! Jeff, it's okay. No! Yes. Hardy, and then if you're he watching. would just fuck me on the couch. Yes! <laughs> Get that juicy pie. I think you can have both. I think I can wear glasses and be fucked by two men. And that's the kind of 2019 we want to live in. And that's the 2019 I want myself. I want my daughters to live in. Where they can be this fucked is... while wearing glasses. Yes. <laughs> Because this is going to be passed down. Oh, my God. This is just as Martin Luther King <laughs> March on Washington speech. <laughs> For all you women out there with glasses. That wear glasses. You can get fucked, too. My God. We, we haven't even on. gotten to the sex in this book okay, yet. Yeah, We're let's about do it. Let's to do it. there. We are, we are right there. Because my favorite part comes in the sex part. Let's What's your get favorite to the part? sex part. Oh, I have it ready. But. So uh, they get into a bit of a fight kind of like this. Maybe I'm getting heated because yeah. I'm thinking about the fight in this book. Um, um, and then uh, he's like, you know, why won't you do it? And she's like, well, why haven't you kissed yeah. me already? You haven't even challenge. tried. Yes. A nice challenge. Yeah. And oh, they rise to Going. the occasion. Yeah. They uh, kiss. Yeah. And then they do it. And she said it's like the best kiss of her life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's never felt something like that from a kiss before. Yeah. Um, During it, I just love that Owen's in the back. And Hardy's in the front. Always. Yes. It's kind of like dogs. Well, and one thing, she said she was scared of Owen um, entering her front. No, no, wait. Let, oh, that, let me talk about okay. it. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I have <laughs> it right here. Owen hooks his fingers under the waistband of my underwear and tugs it down my ass until it's exposed. He licks a long line up my crack and then dives his tongue in against my forbidden interest, entrance. My head falls back and my body tightens as the sensation overwhelms me. Woo! I'll tell you why this part T gets me. Ting. Bitch, it's an asshole. Just yeah. call it an asshole. <laughs> Not a you forbidden entrance. I thought read an entrance. What? There was a password to enter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not twice. <laughs> Not forbidden. It's in this book, they go in there all the time. Owen they're shoves in his there, tongue twenty in times. There like it's their fucking yes. diversified extra room. Yes, the first one. It's the hidden that. temple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they gotta put the shrine. Yeah, of the, the silver, silver monkey, monkey together in an asshole. Nom 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 nom. And then there's a temple guard that comes out. Another thing about her forbidden entrance. When Owen starts putting his dick inside of it, um, she's like, he like starts 
just like kind of going in softly, and then all of a sudden it's right in there. Is that not dry that's, as fuck? That's like not how you it had works. no lube, it's it just went right happens, in. And she said he's huge. It happens so. often. They love describing it's my first time with something in my butt, and he was gentle at first, and then instantly like bow, 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 bow. Yeah. yeah, I was. And it's she's always never be the first taken it up the ass before. Yes. Yeah. Um. So, so I was hurt. like, yeah, yeah, for sure. This book, more than any other, read to me like a porn transcript once it, it got to the sex. It was very much, and it was like, I didn't mind that. Yeah. But it was just so <laughs> much more, it was like yeah. porn that I would watch. It was like, oh yeah, fuck me, yeah, all right, but mm. And more than other books where it's like, and then he touched the curve of my blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. It was so hella bareback. It was just mm. like, yeah, no I, condom, just coming straight in. Yeah. Oh, there are no condoms in any of these books. <laughs> this was the nastiest thing I read in any of the books. Um, both penetrate her at the same time, making her moan like a feral animal. Yes, and she talked about Fuck that a few yes. times, like her like animal instinct. She just couldn't keep in the sounds she was this making. This bitch is primal. But it was she is someone feral describing animal. like a feral animal. She is an That's unfriendly sick. cat <laughs> on the street. <laughs> Yeah, those cats scream nasty too. <laughs> she's in the heat and she's that's ready. What it is. Dude takes at her and she's like, <laughs> maybe that's what they like, you guys. Okay, and the We're guys not here to kink shame. never had a conversation about fucking her together. It just like kind of happens. Definitely not their first and, time. Yeah, definitely not their first time. Here, what, is, what is that between the two men? These books never go into that too. What does that yeah, say about the sex? No, they're cool. They're chill. chill, the chill sex not talk to each other now. was always from her perspective. It was always mm-hmm. in the Mary chapters. Mm-hmm. And I wanted um, either Owen or Hardy's perspective of Especially the sexual Owen. encounter. To hear, and they're yeah. like him being like, I didn't want to touch Owen's cock, yeah, um, or whatever. Or part of it that gets him off is like, and then I looked Watching over it. and he was doing this, and I and when I saw he, his like shining. Yeah, chest they obviously and, get off on that because he bosses her around. He's like, you're gonna suck Owen's cock right now. Yeah, yeah. so he's they're into yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I would love. You're absolutely yeah. right. I would have loved to have heard it from their yeah. perspective and hear what they're taking in. Another um, thing at the end when they're done and they're like in this tangled web of each other's limbs, she's like, all I care about is them. And all they care about is me. And yeah. when I read that, I was like, yeah, right. You just <laughs> like, I was definitely reading it, and I was like, I need to learn more about this. Because I felt bad that I was just like, how does she do this? Like, I feel like I would fight all the time. I would do all this. And I was like, oh, I guess there are couples that are, like, sharing. There are people in yeah, relationships yeah. Yeah. like this. Yeah. And it works and for I'm them. Like, they or, work. I love sure. it. I I'm love it. Here I, think, for it. I think that's valuable to see in Erotica. But I do agree with Annie that, like, only insofar as, like, everybody's viewpoint is valuable yeah. because it is very typical to see just the hetero sort of part of that. Yeah. Right Rather. now it's more just they adore me as opposed to like if we're if a unit that functions all together, yeah, what are you two men to each other? Yeah. And mm-hmm. what do we all get out of this relationship? And what, yeah. you know, and I, I the dynamic. I like it. Um, then they have pancakes. This is a little off topic, but I did appreciate that her like she has like a little bit of a belly yes. that they talk about. I do wonder like what the <sighs> fuck that means because we think we, we were saying we think this is a male author, yeah, yes. or at least not a not a woman or non-binary author, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, I appreciate a good stomach jiggle. Uh, I do wonder. Yeah. I'm like okay, like, but what do you think a stomach is? Do you think like, or like, is it a stomach? Is it like, yeah. mm-hmm. is it like, mm-hmm. 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 is it a stomach? You know, that's, you know, like, mm-hmm. that's what I want to know. But I loved I it. it. I was here for the just the nod to a stomach. Yes. Like, and that's a and that shows how much that like it's sad because I'm like yeah, it's never I there. just need yeah. like that one little affirmation that like it's yes. a stomach. That we, it's a woman that has like a like a, she's And they thick. mention it yes. a few times. She talks about it and the mm. men also talk yes. about it like as they like stroke her belly. Yes. Yeah. Truly, um, representation is so important. It's I mean so important. important. We even said she is the closest to a woman of color because yeah. she had brown eyes. That's very sad. <laughs> I'm yeah. pulling from the bottom of the barrel, <laughs> oh, people. It's not <laughs> the opposite of my life experience. Like most people I'm with have a little something, and then when uh, the the very few times someone has been yeah. more ripped, I'm like, you're like, whoa, whoa. Like, whoa. You're like, Damn. and you're screaming you're like, like a feral cat. <laughs> <laughs> Meow. Damn, meow. I'm so meow. sexy. Meow. <laughs> 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 uh, sorry, anyone listening play. to this and it's upsetting your animals at home or maybe not upsetting them. <laughs> yeah. Pet play, baby. Uh, so they, they spend the night nice. They make some pancakes. She still has a little bit of writer's block and she thinks she's made a mistake. And they're mm. like, well, let's just chill and be friends. We don't have to do this. Let's go uh, frolic in the snow together. So they all go yes. tobogganing. 
the t- this scene where they're in mm. this like you know beautiful winter escape you know with the sled and everything I and she's saying like I never saw them in this light before mm. I kind of imagined um, that scene in Beauty and the Beast where it's like <laughs> there must be something there that wasn't oh. there before like she's like I had no idea that these guys could be so sweet and playful I just thought they were burly lumberjacks and oh so my she's God. like you know, and I don't know, the winter. I, I love that. Yeah, Tess Elements, you're I'm freaking sorry. at this I'm scene. freaking because I was like, mm. Mm. And like, and then also, Beast, Beast is burly is, like that. Beast is Hardy no. and Owen. Beast this is, is the both. Beauty and the Beast Thank you. illusion. And Beauty and like, the Beast. Belle loves Ooh. books. Mary writes books. I'm just saying. Annie Tarn- is oh. on to something <laughs> and we need to get into it. This is oh why God. we have experts here. And then all the plates and cutlery they were using. <laughs> all the that plates dance? and cutlery they <laughs> fucked. It was Lumiere. It all makes sense. Oh God, they, they, they were fucked fucking that plate. plate that, that candlestick candle stick? she shoved up her ass. That was Lumiere. <laughs> in her in forbidden entrance. entrance. Not <laughs> you, you <laughs> use Lumiere to see into the forbidden entrance. <laughs> Annie said it's Coxworth, not oh, Coxworth. Oh, but, you know, oh my Instead of God. Chip, it's Dale. Co- Chip oh. and Dale. <laughs> Clint and Instead Chip. Chip, it's Cock. <laughs> um, so, but of course, they can't keep their little cold mittens off each other. They start doing it outside, which doing it in the snow does not sound like horrible. anything I'd want to do. She said she really liked it. She liked the brisk wind. Yeah, Maybe it's scene, great. Ooh. Which I was like, oh, on her on her nips. On uh, nips, good. I feel like yes. They burn a lot. Also, something oh. they all whenever they all start fucking, she's always standing up, yeah. and they're like taking her from both sides. And one time she was like, I straddled my step wider so that they could like eat Have me out me. or whatever. But I was like, why are you always? standing up when you yeah. fuck them. Because I think double penetration is harder Easier. when you're lying down. Yeah. I guess well, I mean, you could be on all fours. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we need a physics expert on here. We can't <laughs> yeah. really figure this out. Uh, <laughs> um, I did like in this scene... Uh, uh, she they finger her and then have her uh, take a little taste and she describes take it as taste. slurping off my honey. Yes. And oh, you don't like that. No one can see this. Our cameraman does not like that. <laughs> he hates it. But I like it. Um, it was my favorite description of uh, vaginal secretion yeah. that I've heard yet. Yeah. I also just really like honey. honey. Yeah, honey tastes really good. Yeah, honey's just yummy and it's good for Winnie your allergies. Poo. So and one <laughs> little, Fun fact, when Winnie the Pooh is eating all that honey, it's actually vaginal secretion. <laughs> I read a book where someone referred to it as like milk and I was like, I don't like that. No. no. I was like, I don't like that. Milk, like milk is boobies. not from your vagina. Yeah. It is. Yeah. If, if, it's coming, if it's actually coming out of your vagina, that to me is like, oh, you have a yeast infection. Yeah, or something it's like bad. That. You, you shouldn't be milk fucking two honey? lumberjacks. Milk. Okay, um, so if honey comes out of my puss, it's fine. It's actually great. It's <laughs> really good for you. Mm-hmm, okay. Um, and I also describe her pussy as shaved. Yes, I was about to say that. Which I was like, Okay. And a sweet pie. Yeah, well, and I was yeah. kind of like, it's the dead of winter. She's not romantically involved with anybody back in the city. So I was like, you have a shaved vagina. Like, people can remove their hair for whatever reason. But I was like, who are you shaving it for? Because that For shit- herself. Yeah, mm, I baby yeah. Girl. I keep it childlike for myself. Yeah, I Stop just that. enjoy myself that way better. <laughs> I just like, and I it. love the itchy, awful feeling of when it grows back. Oh damn! That's the yeah. Wait a minute. What is she thinking? I love throwing the, out my razor I'm every even, time I'm God. finished because it's just destroyed with hair, absolutely <laughs> with curls. <laughs> That's insane. Um, That's so <laughs> they eat each other out, suck, fuck, all that. Mm, uh, fuck, she okay. rips off her glasses. Oh, I loved this line. So many good lines in this. And I will say, I want to see the real you, princess, the dirty slut who wants two fat cocks inside her at the same time. I look. I want to look in your eyes while you gag on my ten inches. Uh, Hardy wants her to stay, but what will people think? Weird flex, yeah. but okay. Ten she inches just, is it's a lot. Not that much. Oh. <laughs> Talking about having sex with a guy who's eight feet tall. I know that's true. <laughs> like, I was like, "Ooh, Andre the Giant, tell me more." Not that much. I almost feel like I, I almost feel like pain just talking it's like, about. Does this it. get edited? No. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I truly I mean, can okay. only go off what the guy says his inches is. What would I? How would I ever know You're otherwise? Pull like, 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 uh, uh, just comments. A ruler is like this big. My pussy's like this deep. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. And they are girthy, it's like too. This. 
<laughs> oh, that's true. They they like, are like, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. She Maybe talks about Owen. their girth. Owen, she it's she like said a Owen fucking was polenta log or something. Well, she at one point <laughs> describes oh, Owen's polenta. dick as swaying back and forth like a pendulum. And that, I laughed out loud because I'm imagining yeah, it like, like swaying <laughs> back and forth. Now, that's Coxworth. Oh, that is <laughs> that. That is Coxworth. Well, you're, hold on to this. The Put it in the back the beast, pocket. guys. I'm telling you. We can be um, bestseller on Amazon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and Eddie so, Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> they have wonderful sex, but she's a bit conflicted now. This just isn't who she is. She's a woman who wears glasses. She doesn't fuck cocks. Yeah, she's <laughs> not the type of woman who has sex with two men. Definitely not. She's never shared a man. And she, Absolutely. Or she shared men. And she, shared lo- by yeah. men. she loves having both of them. The New York Times that same morning after all of this has happened has written a... Uh, just a just kind of a thing about her, not in a book in particular. You know how the New York Times does. They kind of review people. Just about how great she is in general and how her books are ones you can share with your daughter. But that's not the life she's leading. She's leading a life of a woman without glasses. And she decides to drive off. And leave yes. the boys, not tell them. Rude. But yeah, on pe- her drive, she... something happened. <gasps> something <gasps> horrible happens. Where she starts hearing like a rumbling yes. and then an it's avalanche. An avalanche. Happens? Falls. Can you believe it all of the car. all of the incidents that are just like random and like oh no, like it's there's yeah. so many of them. But Nature I think is needed. punishing her. The avalanche mm. really threw me for a loop. I was not expecting that. Yeah, it crushes avalanche? her car. Yeah, um, and she Horrifying. like screams, Owen, Hardy, but they obviously can't hear her because <laughs> yeah. she's stuck under because she's stuck under an avalanche and she's snow. down the road. Yeah, um, and then is it? Is it Owen that wakes Hardy up or Hardy wakes, wakes up, up? Because I think it was so beautiful that um, he wakes up in the morning and he doesn't see her there. And, and then he, he curses goes, her name. He goes, I knew I knew what I had to do. I had to piss. Yeah. <laughs> and they yeah. said that I specifically, myself. which maybe from a male, maybe like a man would read this and be like, wow, I'm so glad that they mentioned this. It's really real. Because this feels really <laughs> it's real. It's really relatable. I was just pee. like, I don't. Care. The coffee yeah. spurting. You have to piss. <laughs> I wrote down the coffee the thing coffee too. The coffee spurting. There was like just a yeah. paragraph like about there's no the... water left. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, when he's like, I don't even wait for it to finish yeah. brewing. It's yeah. still spurting. Ooh, he's so a hot. Anyway. I, wanna I need I just put yeah. my mouth under it like a fucking slug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he has no taste buds, and I'm here yeah. for he's it. He's like, I need the caffeine. I got that oh. pour over into my mouth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then, and then he hears the avalanche, or he feels it, and he's like, Mary looks outside the window. Her car is gone. He shakes Owen awake. Mm-hmm. Um, what does gotta go find her. sound like? I guess just like... Poop splat. Know. Yeah, poop splat. <laughs> <laughs> also, Owen's like so dizzy coming out. And like then he... And then Owen changes. Yeah. Owen turns. He gets mad because he thought him and Mary had something special. Him, Hardy and Mary had something special and couldn't believe she just tried to leave. Yeah. yeah. So they both get pretty mad at they're, her. Their feelings are hurt. In a reasonable way. I yeah. Yes. She could have wanted to get groceries. They don't like, even know. They don't fucking know. That would have been and, so funny. And <laughs> she's just they're like, she's like, I was really out. Starbucks. Cursing <laughs> her out. And then Hardy realizes. Well, they rescue her. They do rescue her. And Hardy realizes, because I wrote, Hardy shows growth. Uh, mm. He realizes he does not just like her. Uh, for, in a one way, it's not to fuck her or share her, but to talk to her. Yeah, that those are the feelings Damn. he's feeling for the first the time. The three this. emotions. Uh, yeah, fuck, share, talk. Ugh, <laughs> also, when that, yeah. they dig her out of the car, they break the back windshield, and she's been passed out. They're like screaming her name. They think she's Let dead. The snow fall through, and then all of a the sudden she wakes up, and they're sense. like, "Can you climb out the back?" And she's like, "Yeah, I've got it." And she climbs out. I'm like, "You were just knocked unconscious by an avalanche." And they're like, "Do you think you can get out on your own?" And he like just like pushes her. She ass needs to go to the hospital. Like, yeah, and she had blood dripping from her head. She yeah. Like, Let's not forget that he left Owen in the car and Owen had to pull himself out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Owen made sure that was Owen, Owen was like, can take care of himself. Hardy. Owen was like, okay, don't That's grab my hand. Him. They yeah. also check out her ass while she's passed out. Like, even then, they're like, ooh, and her perfect ass. Her perfect tight well, ass. They really loved her ass, so. They called it tight all the time. It was a fat That's really movie. great. They go back to the house, they kind of settle things, and then they make love for one last time on the aisle. Wait a and minute. They, they fight the kitchen first. island. They fight. And, and yes. did we mention her glasses break in this yes. accident? And that's and she she is really symbolic. The horcrux is released. <laughs> um, it is there. one it thing happened. they when they're making up, they're like, How could you leave us? And she's like, I'm sorry, this is where I need to be. They say they're falling in love with each other. They like both prop her up on the corner of the kitchen counter, and she says to them, 
I need to fuck. And yeah. I just thought that, like, she was like, I whimpered it out. I tried to Ooh, sound what, demanding, oh, but I sounded like I was whining. up here, I need to suck I your need cock. To suck your I cock. try to sound commanding, but it comes off desperate. desperate. Yeah, I was waiting for her at one point to, I like, take it. charge. I, I wanted her to, like, yeah. do more yeah. of a yeah. 180 and be like, you, there. Like, you know. That's true. That would I wanted her to take charge. I would have fully got off if she did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but we were just part. I, did. I was part, part there. Away, yeah. Stopped myself. And if these penises were like twice the size. Yeah, like maybe 20 <laughs> inches. Maybe a yard. I regret what I said. Maybe like now. a foot long hoagie type situation. Yeah. Ooh, and then hoagie. maybe like two feet like wide or something. <laughs> yeah. The chapter ends. This is where I belong. Where I'll always stay. And then we have an epilogue of twin boys chasing each other laughing. Princess. And she's oh, pregnant with boys. another yeah, child. Please, please, oh, yeah, 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 please. Are we to assume me. these twin boys will go off and be just like Hardy and Owen? I, I guess so. I imagined, and this is like, it is possible, but it's very rare to happen, that one of the twins was Owen's and the other one was Hardy's. Yeah, that's oh, what I thought. No, that's what I thought. That's yeah, what I thought. Like it can happen. It can that's happen. Very rare, but biologically possible. insemination of like, a two. No, I think you can, like, if you have sex with two guys yeah. and they oh. finish inside of you, like, really think, close but together. But is finishing in her ass. That's true. Maybe a drip. But every now, now and then is. from the bud. <laughs> from the bud. <laughs> <laughs> with enough true if it's love to be. Uh, in the butt, you can if there's be enough, impregnated. If there's enough um, nut in the butt. Great. Enough nut in we the butt. We never hear, though, about, she stays in the woods with them forever, and we never hear about... What she told what people. happened? Also, like, with she the can't book. ever go back to New York City. No, they didn't ever want to live her that life. That was her no. fake self. Her fake self for that point up to her life yeah. was all pretend, and now uh, and now her she real writes self, fake erotic self novels. Had, like ten, twenty vision. Her real self was like 25, 20 vision. She's yeah. Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. now she's writes erotic old. novels, not romance novels, and her fans have accepted that that's who she is. She's so. hot. Um, and that's nice. shared by Lumberjacks. Perfect. What did we think? Mm. Our, our scale, just so you guys know, is our guess is usually dry as a desert to flip it off my chair. So like one to five. Okay. Um, just from like a sexual, like, or like Whatever as, you're a, as, as a like as for, literature. For, for you what can for also Nessie, give it multiple. I rated it on monster sex and human sex. Mm. So I had different numbers for both. Okay. So it's whatever you want. Um, I'm going to give it, I think, a 3.5 okay. because yeah. I kind of wanted there to be some sort of conflict where, like, she goes off just with Hardy or goes off just with Owen. Mm. And they had, I wanted, it was always the three I of them. I was going to get that conflict, but it never did. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I give it a, a 3.5. I, I liked it. So thank you, Eddie Cleveland. Yes. Yeah. For writing this book. And as someone who maybe uh, relates so much to the lead character as yeah. well. Now I you mean, are wearing your glasses today. Yes, I am wearing and them. Is, I thought it would you, help me channel Mary. I don't are, always wear these. It's not because you're feeling like sort of prissy and uptight today? Well, I always feel okay. that way. Cool. I just was um, like no. wondering where your real <laughs> self was. <laughs> I mean, I'm my true self when I take these off. See, but I can't do I that in the work. Now you guys. it makes sense. I'm at work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at work. I kick it wild yeah, and crazy. so inappropriate that you just... <laughs> Ask me that. <laughs> uh, Jessica? On the scale? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I feel like after reading it, I'm like a like a water park slide that's been off for four hours. Oh! You know, like I can still make Whoa. it down. It's not the way. Wait, what do you mean you could still make it down? Because it's a slide. I mean, due to gravity, I'm still going to go. But right. it's going to hurt. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, it might hurt, but I mean, I'm going to land in the water. I don't think sure. water park slides are made to be slid without water. But you can still go down. Yeah, it, it still, still It hurts. It still exists. <laughs> it's still hey, gravity. Owen, oh. Mary, and Hardy don't use lube either. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, I'm wow. halfway there. Wow, <laughs> incredible. And how about the uh, the lumberjacking in the book? Any thoughts on that? Accuracy. I did. We didn't touch on it that much, but it did. I did like when they switched from the vroom, vroom, vroom chainsaw to like a normal axe. Um, oh yeah, they do make. That oh yeah, for they make her that compromise. It's less noisy. Mm-hmm. That's right. I also do. I don't know if they talked about what kind of trees there were, because you guys know I'm a tree expert. <laughs> yeah. Um, didn't know Douglas I'm guessing Hart, they're taking it. down some oh. sequoias or oh. redwood. Yeah. One thing a I redwood. thought was missing. <laughs> That's a mighty redwood. One thing I thought was missing is that there was no penis log yeah. metaphor. I was waiting for her to talk about one of their Sap. logs entering her forest, yeah. and it. it oh. My, no, she I has didn't get forest. it. Her forest yeah, her forest is carrying her incinerator. Yeah. She's the Amazon after palm oil. <laughs> <laughs> like in Fergully. Ah, 
Stop it. Toxic love. Toxic love. Mm. What do you guys give it? Um, Rekha? Well, I'm going to say, coming into this, first three or four chapters, I was at like a five. I was in for it. Damn. Damn. I was like, oh, this is the best one. But then it pretty quickly kind of just dropped off. And I would say, because like even the beginning and the sex was like, I liked it. But then it just kind of got like repetitive and like yeah. samey. Yeah. So I think it dropped off to like two and a half to me. Yeah. There's just so much you can do. Yeah. I, I feel like you could do more, but I feel like yeah. it just stayed at like, yeah. we won't keep it here. Yeah. I'm at a two and a half too. I wish more would have been done with the lumberjacking mm. because I was very surprised by how sexy I like, uh, how much I like those sounds that they were talking about. <laughs> just the yeah. and her like seeing it and he them like shaking and the dust flying. I wish it was like, Again, oh, come beginning. watch us do yeah. this and then we'll all do it because we're all so hot from lumberjacking yeah. all day. They just kind of lumberjacked once and then we never saw it Lumberjack again. They had a off. snowball fight. They had a deadline. Did they meet it? They were talking in the book. They were like, we have a deadline for these trees. We need to keep cutting them. Oh, my and fucking then, uh, God. Now I'm going to be stressed the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Oh Did they make I'll it? I'll reread it and I'll let you guys know. I'll go on the Discord. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. I'm realizing that I didn't write down the author's name for our next book. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's okay. We can put it in the Discord. We'll yeah. put it in the Discord for uh, you guys listening and reading along. Uh, it is called Stress Treatment. It's a lesbian medical oh, erotica. We haven't yet touched it. that Ooh. genre yet. Yes, so we really haven't excited. had any doctors um, and or books just dedicated to slowly solely lesbian characters. So Wonderful. I'm very excited for yes. this one. Yes. A doctor's office is not as sexy for me. So I'm interested to see if this gets me uh, a little hotter the next Ooh. time. Um, at the doctor. When you get your physical. No. <laughs> the next time I check my spine, a scoliosis. Um, but that is, I believe, called stress treatment. I apologize that I didn't write it down, uh, but we'll have that in the Discord. Um, and thank you so much to our guests for being here. Thank you guys. so much. Fun. So fun, dude. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Have a wonderful, sexy uh, week. Please. Yeah. And we'll, we'll see you soon. Please. Bye. Remember, this is like 12 oh inches, like a ruler. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Just whatever. be careful out there. Being really Epic. careful. <laughs> Dare to be different. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what that campaign's about. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jess. If you like that, subscribe to Dropout, where you can become a part of the exclusive Dropout Discord. I can even tell you my secret for solving one of these. Just take this. Da, 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 da. hey Genius! All right. Who's the smarty pants now?